Hello beautiful people, I hope you're doing well and welcome back again to On How channel. For people that don't know, my name is Anas, I'm working for you. So if you have any questions, any video requests, make sure to drop one below in a comment. I will be happy to make a video for you. And for people that don't know, welcome back. You already know, if you have any questions, make sure to drop one below. I will be happy to make a video for you as well. Same as the over 100 videos now I made on Shopify customization. They were mostly requests, not all of them, but mostly requests from subscribers. And some people not even subscribers, but I'm fine with that. Just a like button, that's all I'm asking. And actually, if you are interested in Shopify customization, you want to be an expert, make sure to subscribe to the channel, it's completely free. I don't sell any courses, never will. I don't sell any like codes, all the codes I do provide is completely free. And I don't have any memberships, all the content I do create, I do post it directly on the channel, completely free. You just have to skip around some ads and stuff, but that's the case for most of the videos on YouTube if not in all, of, all of them, so it's a win-win situation, make sure to subscribe, I would appreciate it too, but as I said, just a like, like is enough, if you are interested, subscribe, if not, goodbye, <laughs> that's all I'm, I have to say, and in this video, I will show you, which is a request again from a subscriber this time, I know he is, which is how to add a custom link to the announcement bar on your Shopify store, and yes, announcement bar, it doesn't have the option to set it as a custom link so the customer click on it send them to a link or a specific section in this video i will show you how to set it as a as a page like contact as page or something like that then i will show you how to set it to only a specific section on your shopify store so once the customer clicks on it it will scroll down the page to the specific section that you did set it to and yes this code is completely free including tutorial is completely free I'm doing all of this is free and let's just quit talking and let's just get to it as you can see this is the Shopify dashboard in here and I have down team and uh, the 15 which is the last version as of now so in demonstration I do the demonstration on down team in the video but in here as you can see I have other teams as well which is taste sense refresh spotlight and trade and if you are wondering why is that because I do actually try each one of these tricks I mean each one of my tricks on the on the channel I do try them on each one of these teams so even if you're not using down team which is the one I'm doing demonstration on if you're using one of these it should work for you just fine even if it didn't drop me a comment I will be happy to help you out and I have to key to say this at first so I will make sure to give you uh, a peace of mind so you will know this video will help you out you will not waste your time only on down team I did try it behind the scenes on all of these and they did that behind the scenes so I don't bore the people out. I'm a good guy, right? Robin Hood is back alive again. <laughs> I'm just joking, rest in peace, rest in peace. So as I said in this video, I will show you how to add a custom link to either collection page, contact page or a specific section on your Shopify store. So let me show you what I'm talking about. This right here. And by the way, if you can see, I have an announcement bar a scrolling text or moving text or marquee effect as they call it if you are interested in adding this or gradient color to the announcement bar i already made these videos or the search bar at the header instead of search icon or changing the color for the count bubble i already made these videos so i got you in every field no worries a lot more not just these i can't mention them all so I don't bore people out again. <laughs> so no worries. We will keep this page open. We'll do the trade, come back and see it in action. So let's just get back to Shopify dashboard, obviously. And the next thing you're going to do is click on the three dots on left of customize and click on edit code. It will take you to the code editor for your Shopify team. And in here we need to find the specific file. Instead of looking at the folders and stuff, simply use the search bar at the top left corner and type in team. Just like you see, and it will find team.liquid. This one, exactly what we were looking for. So simply click on it, then bunch of code in here, scroll all the way down to the bottom of the page and you will see forward slash body in here as you can see. This section that we need. But we need to create some space above or before forward slash body. So in order to do that, click on the last thing above forward slash body and simply hit enter. Here we go. We are a completely new line because we need to paste in some code in here. And where are you going to get the code from? Hire a developer, pay him, wait 24 hours. No need, no need. Scroll down description box and you will see a link named as code. 
simply click on it and it will take you to this page right here and this little code will do the magic trick that i'm talking about so select the whole code obviously right click and copy after you did copy the code get back in here and paste it in the space that we did create so in the red text right here it says it says url forward slash path as you can see and if you use your brain a little bit i think you know what this is right so if you want to use like a specific path uh, sorry specific page simply copy the url without the domain name for example contact us i want to redirect people to contact us simply copy the things after dot com just these things after dot com copy them paste them in here I will not do that I will show you the section instead because I think most people are interested in that I think anyway so let me get back to the Shopify homepage and let's just say I want to send people to this future products collection in here as you can see and by the way interested in adding a custom search bar on your Shopify store check out the channel anyway so the first thing you're going to do is after you find the section you want to direct people after they click on the link right click click on inspect and after that let me close this and after that click on this little icon right here at the top left corner of the inspect tool click on it then make sure to select the whole section not the title or not a product card but the whole section in here click on it and here we go so in here we need to find the id for this which is the one i'm highlighting right now so as you can see it says id uh, equals and the link double click on the uh, uh, the pad for the id right click and copy as you can see let me show you how does it look like so you can see the next thing you're going to do select the whole thing in here and type in hashtag you know hashtag who doesn't simply type in hashtag then paste in the id for the pad or the section just like this you see it says collection dash blah 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 this is the id for that section and make sure to include first the hashtag otherwise it will not work and don't do this for the page if you want to do this for a page you don't have to write the hashtag but if you want to do it for a specific section write the hashtag otherwise it will not work the next thing click on the save button wait a couple of seconds get back Shopify store let me close this let's just go back reload the page and it's still scrolling it's still moving right but it has a link now check you see the cursor or the mouse cursor it shows a link let me click on the link let me oh scroll down to the future of the product let me do that again for the second time if I click on it it scrolls back if I click on it scrolls back and that's how you add the link to announcement bar easily by using uh, a custom call that will add a custom link to any link or even a section on your shopify store just like i showed you if you have any questions make sure to drop them below in the comment but for now i think my job is done so thanks for watching catch you on the next one